editing the properties of items can be done in several ways. The first is just double clicking on the item in the model view. And you can look at all the properties and change for instance the height in this case from 30 meters to 25 meters. OK. If you want to change several items simultaneously you select the item and with shift click you add to your selection. Then with the right mouse click you can open the item properties of the selection. So now I look at two buildings and I can change the height of those both buildings from whatever they were to 25 meters. So now both buildings are 25 meters. Also this building 25 meters. This is one way of editing properties. You can also double click in your list of selected items. So double click on receiver P1 opens the properties form of this receiver. And you can edit all the properties. That's a way. Another way is opening the group manager. And in the group manager you can also double click on items. Then the property form is opened and you can change the properties of the items. So there are several ways of editing properties. Another way is opening the list of items. And that's a more organized way. First you click on the building and here you see all the properties. If you double click on the building it will open the properties form of the building. In the list of items you can also go in edit mode and then you can enter the height directly. 6 meters, 11 meters and again with Ctrl Z undo you can undo your uh, editing. You can also copy the full list of the items, copy full grid to the clipboard and then paste it in Excel. For instance here. So now I've got my full list in Excel. If I change the height in Excel, I can copy this back to iNoise. I select the column with the height, right mouse click copy, Alt-Tab I switch back to iNoise and I click on the first field. Remember that you have to be in edit mode. I click on the first field and I say Ctrl-V. iNoise will then inform me that 12 rows and one column will be pasted. Continue, yes. So then all my changes in Excel are done now in iNoise. And I can close down the edit mode and I'm done. And the same also goes for sound power levels of sources. For instance point sources, you've got all the sound power levels, and the directivities, etc. This is of course a very long list. Creating a new item profile is in this case useful. So I create a new item profile and I name it sound power level and then I only drag the sound power levels to to this profile. And my total close. So now if I select my sound power level I only see the sound power levels. Again I can copy this to Excel, go to Excel, I delete this one and I copy it and I've got my sound power levels. And now I can change my sound power levels in Excel. Of course I could also have entered uh, the, uh, the name. I select my grid Ctrl C, go back to iNoise, go in edit mode, I click on the first field, Ctrl V, and all my sound power levels are pasted. So these are just some of the ways you can edit properties in iNoise. Thank you for your attention.